Hey YouTube, welcome back. Hey, today we're going to start on part 7 of our conversion of the Mennonite small tiny sheds into a small tiny house. Um, a lot of times these sheds come with 2 foot wide instead of 16 inches on center, 2 foot wide. Um, so people don't really know what to do for insulation. And on a really, really tight budget, you can go to a hardware store or, or wherever you would buy your insulation in your hometown. And notice they have two foot wide for insulation on the, on the rafters and the joists for your house. But the stuff is so much money, you don't get very much for the bang of your buck. I mean, the, the insulation is good itself. But when you're trying to work on a budget, it doesn't really happen so well sometimes. So what we did, um, we were on a zero dollar budget. I mean, we've never pulled a loan out for this house or nothing. Uh, to build it or anything else but I'm digressing on this um, we're right now we're in the process there's gonna be a wall right here that comes up with a sliding door this is one of the upstairs loft rafters but that, before I, I uh, got everything up and going with this I wanted to show you guys what we did what we chose to do um, behind the styrofoam insulation um, there is two layers of cardboard and um, when we didn't have any insulation or this styrofoam at all, um, we had to figure out a way to insulate this place. It was very, very, very cold. Um, we live um, in northern climate of the United States, and when you have zero insulation and it's 30 degrees outside, you're lucky if you're going to get 50 degrees inside with no insulation, even with the wood stove cranking up 100% heat. So it's critical that you guys do that. Um, if you don't have any money, run down to your local appliance store. A lot of times uh, with the new EPA regulations and stuff, they can't, um, throw them, can't throw them in regular trash, so they have to recycle them and it costs money. And, and so they have boxes and boxes and boxes and they're, they're more than likely gladly to give them away. Refrigerator boxes and stove boxes and stuff like that. But what I did is I, I searched online um, <laughs> And there was a study done by some college kids. I don't remember. I don't have a link or anything right now. So it's just I'm going from memory. And regular cardboard uh, gives an R value of 3.0. Uh, corrugated cardboard, that is, uh, 3.0. With the wax stuff, you know, the stuff that uh, if you go to the liquor store and you have some of those liquor bottles, they're the waxy ones on the wax on the outside on the cardboard. That has an R value of 3.5. Some college students were saying, recycle and reuse and do all this and save the environment. But what they, they found out, it really does have a good insulating factor. Um, <clears throat> so we decided um, to go with two layers to give us an R value of just, and that's only like maybe a half inch, guys, of cardboard. Once you staple it down, we used a, um, got a staple gun, boom, 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 behind this. And um, that gave us an R value of, of, of six. And when we did that throughout the whole house, our house instantly warmed up 10 degrees within minutes. I mean, it was, it was just unreal how much just a piece of cardboard can actually keep you warm. After we did that, um, we started pricing out the, like I said before, the actual insulation, the rolls and the stuff. And that stuff, I think it came in like four or six foot rolls. But when you have a whole house to do and two foot on center, because um, most of these sheds are not 16 inches, some some now are, but most of them are still two foot on center for the joists between the joists and the and the rafters and stuff. Um, you're gonna have to figure out a different. I, we had to figure out a different way. So cost effectiveness. This is the uh, two and a half inch um, polyurethane styrofoam. This is. And it has an R value, I believe, of seven and a half or eight. Um, plus, with the six that we already have, that gives us a 14. I believe it's 14, or it's either 14 or 15 or 16. I can't remember exactly the, the number, the numbers on it. But I know it's it's above 12, and that's what we were shooting for. We want um, anything above 20. But with this small little house and everything else, the better you insulate it, less fuel you're going to use, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But what we do, I haven't done it on this one. Um, but we take a spray foam and we come through and we spray all the cracks and everything else 
once we once we I'm gonna put this wall in so I'm gonna go back through and I'm gonna spray it uh, one thing about doing this stuff in the winter time guys I can give you guys um, some advice is if you don't have a temperature gun a thermal indicator gun you can buy them I believe at Harbor Freight and stuff are really cheap a temp gun they'll give you a LED digital display readout you can, you can feel the drafts in the winter I mean in the summertime you can't really feel the drafts that much but in the winter time when it's cold outside I mean like five degrees anything under 10 you can really feel the drafts so you can you can walk around your house and hold up your hand and figure out where all your drafts are coming from but once you see all this stuff up you're not gonna get any drafts it's just like an inside of a cooler um, so we're gonna put a wall right up through here and we'll, we're doing that right now the process but I wanted to show you guys about insulation um, and stuff like that this also acts as a vapor barrier for your walls so you won't get anything in any condensation or nothing like that so and it doesn't mold nothing behind it it's it's like a cellulose um, they, it would be not how do I say it economical uh, feasible to get a whole bunch of cardboard and and to do it um, to grind it all up and spray it and all that stuff it just it, it's, it would be more of a uh, EPA reg not a regulation but a EPA um, use more fuel to make the com the um, insulation itself than it would be just to use a staple gun so I hope this helped out guys if you found information helpful um, please like and share it uh, if you're not a subscriber go ahead and do so we have a lot of videos coming I'm not going to post them all at once um, I'm trying to get all the projects done and then post them so if you start seeing this one and there's gonna be more coming because <laughs> I'm done with the project but I just want to take my time all right guys thanks for watching have a good day one thing I wanted to add to you guys is see all this insulation around here it was cold when I did it so I didn't want to go and scrape it all off or anything else but when it started to get cold this year um, we had a, a cold snap and then we had a warming uh, trend and we got back up in the 50s but it, it probably got down in the, or about 10 15 degrees and it warmed back up to 50 but during the 50 degrees we felt or when it was 10 degrees we felt that it was really really cold we had a draft coming from up here and I know last year I showed you guys the ones around the house but I wanted to go back and after feeling the draft again um, we put this one alongside because there's two pieces of um, siding on this you can see the nails hopefully you can from the from the siding they, where they tacked it up but right where that border is that whole thing it's a there's a split between the, the boards going up and the siding because the siding comes in four by eight sheets so that's their seam up there and they didn't do a good job when they they sealed it up of course it's just a shed so making it into a tiny house you have to seal it up so I did all the stuff I'm gonna go back this this spring and knock it all out but I want to let you guys know you guys are gonna want to do that also and there's one on the floorboard as well and speaking of that let's see um snow snow is an awesome insulator for uh the ground and everything else ours is up off the ground a little bit we did have snow all the way up on top of this and man the house stayed so much warmer with that ground we still have a draft coming from the floor but we're going to fix that this summer but i just want to show you guys a couple a couple little tricks and tips on that um i'm hoping you guys are enjoying your day and stuff have a good one bye bye